been nine years since David Cam was acquitted in a third trial, but there are still a lot of unanswered questions about the murders of his wife and children. WDRB Stefan Johnson sits down with a retired FBI agent who addresses those questions in a new book about the Cam family murderers. I spent five years in the United States Navy. Uh, subsequently uh, uh, got out of the Navy and went into the FBI for 27 years. Gary Dunn is a retired FBI agent. I had an 18 year very productive relationship with the Indiana State Police when I was with the FBI. Dunn not only worked closely with Indiana State Police, he was also familiar with the agency's high profile cases. I was still with the FBI and that was in uh, 2000, uh, subsequently or shortly after the uh, murders of Kim, Brad, and Jill had occurred. In fact, uh, shortly not, after not, he retired from the FBI in 2003, background. Dunn was approached by an attorney in Cam's second trial. My immediate thought was absolutely not. Dunn says his reluctance was because of his prior relationship with ISP. But after several conversations, he eventually agreed to take a look at the case, but made no promises. Yeah, I'll get involved, but I'm going to do everything I can do to put David Cam in the garage pulling the trigger because uh, I still couldn't mentally embrace the possibility that that he was innocent. By that time, former Indiana State Trooper David Cam had already been convicted in the murders of his wife and two children, despite 11 witnesses who told prosecutors they were playing basketball with Cam at a church. It made sense to me that it was a surviving husband and father. In September of 2000, Kim, Brad and Jill Cam were shot to death in the garage of the family's home in Georgetown, Indiana. It didn't surprise me that arrest was made within three days, and it certainly didn't surprise me that uh, the arrest was of uh, the husband and the, uh, the father, uh, David Cam. Cam's first conviction was overturned on appeal, and in the second trial, career criminal Charles Bonet's DNA, palm prints, and sweatshirt were found at the scene and both were eventually convicted by two separate juries. You go where the evidence takes you, uh, not with some narrative. Dunn says following the evidence led him to a conclusion that he was not expecting. Testifying for the defense was never an issue with me if it was the truth. And, and with Dave, it was a truth. Uh, he could not have killed his wife and kids. Since then, Dunn has worked to clear Cam's name and was in the courtroom when Cam was acquitted in his third trial after spending 13 years in prison. So many people have gotten it so wrong for so long. Um, I think it's time to set the record straight. Dunn says he sets the record straight in his book called Their Bloody Lies and Persecution of David Cam. It's a look back from the time I got involved in late 04 to the, um, uh, the murders themselves. Dunn says the book is an objective look at the case. It's based upon the evidence. From the beginning to the end, including the we millions of dollars Cam was jury. paid as um, part of settlements with the county and no state. We're state. talking about a 22-year saga of when David Cam, his uh, wife and children were murdered, up until this year when the civil case was uh, finally resolved. With photographer Dave White, I'm Stefan Johnson, WDRB News.